Hey there, this is David Day with Adorama TV, and today on Making Waves, we're gonna be looking at microphones for video, namely boom microphones, lavalier microphones, and when to use them. Most of the time, when recording video, you're gonna to wanna to record audio along with it. That brings up the question, what type of microphone should be used to best capture the audio? The two major types of microphones to consider are booms, like the Rode NTG3, and lavaliers, like the Sennheiser ME2 that I'm wearing right now. Each is very different, but both can be useful depending on the situation and setting. Lavaliers are generally used in interviews or news reporting, and are usually best in any situation where the talent is unlikely to turn their head. They're also useful when needing to capture a location sound or in live situations where anything unpredictable can happen. Since the microphone is attached to the talent, wherever they go, the microphone is gonna keep up with them. Because lavaliers, or lav mics for short, are so close to the talent, they are great for isolating the voice from any noises occurring in the background. This can be beneficial in the field during a news report or interview, as it allows the words being spoken to be picked up clearly over any other sound. There are drawbacks to this, of course, as eliminating that background sound can make the vocal audio sound too clean and isolated, which would not sound natural in something like a film or television show. Another disadvantage is that accessories or jewelry, such as necklaces, could hit the microphone, causing unwanted sounds to be amplified. Additionally, since lav mics work best when outside of clothing, it's generally not ideal for film shoots where a character needs to look like they're unmiked, but there are exceptions, which I'll cover later. Now, Boom mics are called so because they're almost always on the end of, you guessed it, a boom pole. They're typically available in two styles, shotgun or cardioid. Both are great for capturing natural sound, though generally shotgun microphones, like the industry standard Sennheiser MKH416, are better in outdoor settings since their pickup patterns are more directional, helping to block out background or ambient noise. Cardioid microphones, like the Audio-Technica AT4053B, are better for indoor use due to their polar pattern, which better captures the natural tone of an enclosed space and represents an indoor environment more accurately. We'll have a more detailed look at both shotguns and cardioids in another video. Boom mics are great for film as they capture a wider area of sound, providing a more natural feel, as opposed to a more isolated sound that a lavalier generates. Now, as a boom microphone needs to be out of frame, it is a bit more distant, but still focuses on the subject. This allows the actor a bit more freedom to move and turn without worrying if their audio is going to be picked up by the microphone or not. Of course, there are limitations to this, as the microphone's range of motion is only as flexible as your boom operator and the set that they're confined to. So while it's always best to try to record all of your audio from the same microphone, in some situations you may need to use multiple ones to achieve your desired product. For example, while filming a live event, it might be a good idea to use a lav to record your talent's dialogue, but then also use a boom mic to fill the sound of the room and ensure any dialogue from unmiked speakers is picked up as well. Plus you get the ambience of the room. Using both mics can also come in handy during a film shoot. Remember those lavalier exceptions I mentioned earlier? Well, lobs can be used for backup audio or for recording a guide track to sync up other audio and post. They're additionally helpful if the set is too small or restrictive and a boom operator can't fit in the space or plant a mic in the room. Conversely, if your shot is very wide and there's no place for a boom pole and its operator to hide off screen, a lavalier may be your best option. So to recap, for interviews, on-the-fly reporting, or videos like this, a lavalier is probably your best bet. For film narratives where talent should appear unmiked, always try to use a boom mic first, but if that doesn't work, lavaliers can help record the dialogue. You'll just need to make sure the lav is out of sight or hidden under clothing, which can be difficult, but we'll save that for another video. What are some interesting mic setups that you've used? Leave your comments below, we'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on Making Waves.